And what I would describe as the the real Michael artist starting to emerge and then look for, looking for places to express that. That happened in the States and that... Oh, it started here in Canada. Right. Certainly. And then what did you go look for? Dance companies? You went to a teaching? Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's uh, 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 I've, every career transition, I've become more political about my place in, in, in this society. So dance was one part of it, but when I became an actor, I started doing historical dramas. Right. And you know, you do the research, and you're like, oh, wow. And what were the first films that you saw, in which you saw, you know, indigenous folks playing the, the loud and then the good old explorers or whatever? Well, well, all the horrible stuff, like the, all the old westerns, you know, the right, uh, the John Ford stuff, all the horrible stuff. Yeah, we I saw all of that. It was on TV, <laughs> and so you're like, wow, that's horrible. I don't know what that is. It's not us, but it's supposed to be us. Yeah. So you grow up with this crazy double consciousness of like, I know what I am, but this is what they think I am. Right. And you walk around knowing that's what people think you are. And they talk to you, but they don't talk to you like that. But you know that's not what, that's what they think, but it's not how they are in that moment with you. So you just learn, just like everybody, you just, ha you just learn how to live that way. You have to, or you, or you don't function, or you end up on the street, or you end up in jail, or something. You just have to manage it. That's like the young, the black parents teaching their kid to drive for the first time and say, yeah, before you drive out, make sure you put your wallet up on the dashboard so you're not gonna reach into your pocket when the police stop you. Is you just gotta live that way. You gotta grow up that way. You gotta know all, you got to know that you got to know how to survive. Um, I'm reading Between the World and Me right now. Such a gorgeous book, Tanahisi Coates. Right. Uh, it's 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 a le it's a book that he wrote as a letter to his son about being a black man oh, in right. the United States. That's right. So good. So relevant to me because it's like he talks about um, the fragility of black bodies. And I'm um, like, oh, you know, oh, trust me, I know. I get it. I get it. The fragility so of brown you, bodies. When you were seeing, uh, what, The Last of the Mohicans, uh, what was the one that Chief Dan George was in? Dance with, with Wolves. He I don't think he was one. in that. Nope. But you're, those were films that were starting to get away from the cliche of the cowboy and Indian. Well, it was it was it was uh, moving away from the egregious representations. To it was moving the into something more nuanced. 